What's up guys? So this is my MW Manufacturing train canopy combo. Um, got it put on the car December last year. So had it on, on the car a little bit over six months now. Had it down in Albany and now we're up in the Pilbara. So done a few Ks. Um, it's one of those entry level canopies. It's not up there with the Mitts and the Norwelds, but it's um, also Australian made. And to be honest, for the price that you pay, I think it's um, one of the best options that you can look at. All the panels really nice and straight. Um, can't really fault that. For, uh, there are a few niggly things um, that I'll run you through later. But anyway, let's get into it. So it's a 1600 long canopy, 1800 wide. I think it's about 870 high. Um, I did go the full length canopy rather than cutting it back a little bit shorter. I just wanted that extra bit of space so I could fit the fridge, the pull out pantry and the drawers. Um, gives me a little bit of space behind here so I can fit in pots, pans and um, Jeff line and the like. So I'm glad I went the extra, the extra 100 mil that it gives you. Um, I know a lot of people do talk about the, all the weight that you have to put over the back wheels, but um, to be honest, I, haven't, I don't tow anything, so I don't think it's going to be an issue. So from factory, the train canopy combo goes 350 kilos. Um, that's empty before you put anything in it. So it is on the heavier end. Um, I'll show you around the inside a bit later, but everything's real solid. There's uni strut on the roof, um, on the front and rear walls, there's a false floor in there. Um, the false floor is still lower than the lip. So if you want to put your fridge or your pantry or your drawers in, you've got to have them raised up. Uh, MW do offer um, stands, I suppose, to put the fridge on. And then the pantry, the pantry's raised as a unit. So that all comes out. Same with the drawers. Um, I suppose the one thing that's pretty handy about having that is there's bit of extra storage, so I just put the chopping board, knives, um, barbecue tools and that in there. So like I said before, it is a jack-off canopy, so if I ever wanted to, I could pull the canopy off. Um, I don't love these latches. Um, I haven't had any issues with them so far, but I have seen other people, I have heard of other people that have had issues with it. Um, I spoke to MW and they said, if you're gonna be doing off-road, if you're going to be going off-road, which, I mean, if you're getting a canopy, you should be going off-road, so... They... MW recommend putting a bolt on all four corners. Um, I haven't bothered to put bolts in the front, but I have put two bolts with big washer plates on the bottom, on the back end of the canopy, and then I just leave these on for a bit of extra security. So, the rubber dust seals on the doors, They've been flawless, haven't let any water in, um, any dust. They've got a thick seal up here, so when it, you've got the door open, it's raining. Sort of acts as a gutter, and all the water runs down the sides. Under tray toolboxes, um, they're lockable with a key. I do have central locking hooked up to the whale tails on the canopy, and that's wired into the car's central locking, so one key, lock, unlock the whole thing. That's been great so handy. Um, what I don't like, it sort of bugs me, is this fuel filler cap. So I think that's a bit of a half a job. They do offer fill-in panels for other vehicles, but just not the Colorado. Apparently this space is too too tight to do anything. Um, they had it U-bolted to this mud guard. Um, I'm getting the local alley fabricator to make something up to fill that in, and I'll just paint it black myself to make that look a bit cleaner. So the powder coating has been real good and hasn't chipped off. Um, you can see some pinstripes through it. That's, yeah, it's been through some pretty tight, tight scrub, but that's what it's there for. I did look at getting these color matched with the vehicle, but I think they wanted four grand to, to do that. And yeah, I don't think it was worth it for me. Um, if the pinstriping does get really bad, I might look at putting some wrap on it in the future, but we'll see what happens. So around the back of the canopy, got a lockable jerry can holder. Uh, the ladder to get in, getting into the rooftop tent. Um, so MW Manufacturing actually sell the, they're the reseller off the Motops. So I got that when I got the canopy. Um, but that ladder's been real handy on the back of there. The spare wheel holder. So really wanted a, the bin bag 
on the back of the car, so that's why I've got the spare wheel there. I no longer carry one under the under the tray itself. Got a 1500 long trundle tray. This thing's been real good. Um, nice and solid. You can put your whole weight on it. Not going anywhere. But the lid on it. We actually use the lid for a bit of a table when round and about. Um, yeah, it's a bit bigger than the other table, but really nice 1500 long, heaps of storage. So I've got all my recovery gear, all my tools in there. That's lockable. And again, the whale tail is lockable as well. There's a 40 litre water tank in the headboard. Um, so I've got the taps running around the back. One's gravity fed and that one's actually plumbed in to a water pump. So I can plug that in and run the shower off that. So that's why there's two taps at the back there. All right, so around this end of the canopy, uh, this is pretty much all for storage. So oh, there's always a bit of dead space up the top of the canopy. So I opted to get a extra shelf, just put the sweep, sleeping bags and drop mats and whatever else. Um, fire extinguisher on the back wall that's mounted on the uni strut that's pretty much throughout the canopy, um, just with those channel nuts. And then got the fishing rod holder, made up a bracket to mount that to the uni strut that's on the roof. And that holds my fishing rods out of the way where they're not gonna get damaged. Um, one thing I did add with it being a black canopy is I put the, I think it's 20 mil foil board. I just glued that straight onto the um, canopy door and then put the black carpet so it doesn't stand out like a sore thumb. And then we've got hardcore lights right here. So they do the white and the amber setting and the dimmable. All right, well, that's the walk around off the MW manufacturing <coughs> canopy and toolbox combo. So I suppose we'll talk pricing. The tray itself, before you put any off the under tray toolboxes, the trundle tray, or the headboard water tank, you're looking at about five grand. The canopy itself, again, before you do any of the internal fit out or any of the extras on the back, you're looking at another five or six grand. The, by the time you fit out the internals, you put the ladder, all your toolboxes, your trundle drawer, your headboard water tank, you're probably up over 15, 15 grand. Um, the rooftop tent, and the awning, by the time you finish all of that, um, you're probably sitting pretty close. You're not gonna have much change out of 25 grand. Um, what's up guys? So I just finished editing the video. Wanted to jump in here and share my thoughts on what I think of the MW train canopy package. So for the price you pay, I think you get a really well-built quality canopy. All the panels are nice and straight. The seals are really good. The uni strut on the inside makes it so easy to move things around and customize it however you want. Um, it just makes, the canopy just makes camping just so much easier. You've got access on both sides. You've got the trundle tray and the under tray toolboxes. You're no longer fighting over boxes, trying to find something that you know that's in there somewhere. Um, would I recommend the canopy to friends and family? I definitely would. I think MW make a really great product for that mid-level price. Um, yeah, it's everything that I could have asked for. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you've got any comments, leave them down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.